Hi my friends and welcome or welcome back. I'm George Pierce and I do want to thank you for watching. Uh, in this video I'm going to be revealing what I believe is the best, the very best free thumbnail maker. There are several reasons, two in particular, that in my opinion push this over the top. And if you agree or, di or disagree, you can, you're welcome to let me know in the comments of course. I do want to get right to it, but first, uh, allow me to remind you that this channel is about growing the YouTube channel and making money online as an affiliate. If either of those are of interest to you, be sure to subscribe, smash that subscribe button, and ring the bell. That way you're going to get notified when these videos are published. In my opinion, the best free thumbnail creator is PicMaker. It's P-I-C-M-A-K-E-R.com. Let's go to PicMaker and you can see how it might be able to help you as far as creating some killer, uh, some killer thumbnails and quickly, easily, and professionally because uh, the first thing that we're going to do is look at what are, what are called pre-built. So let's, let's go to PicMaker. And if you haven't already joined, it's free to join. Simply go ahead and sign up. Once you do, go log in. And then as you can, as you can see, you can use PicMaker to do more than just thumbnails. It'll also help you with a YouTube banner if you want, if you need that. Uh, and it's, uh, it's excellent for IGTV thumbnails as well. You can create thumbnails that automatically fit that portrait size for for IGTV. If you're not familiar with thumb, thumbnail creators, most thumbnail creators are, are going to create a, an image that is a perfect fit for uh, for YouTube, for example, if that's what you're using it for, and that's the case with PicMaker. So you don't have to worry about resizing or anything like that. It's already a perfect match. In order to get the PicMaker, by the way, it does use Flash. So simply click on the lock up on your URL bar and click on the lock, the lock and, then, and allow it and then refresh and you'll be able to access PicMaker. And the first page we come to is what's called pre built and that's simply these are, there's a ton of already made thumbnails that you can use and simply customize them for, your, for yourself. Now, I've chosen photography hacks. I'm not going to get into changing the text because I don't think you're going to need any help there. But of course we can alter text, we can add text, we can delete text, we can make text uh, bigger, we can make it smaller, and, and so forth. We can also move in Im images around, we can resize the images, we can add more images, and, more, and so on. So let's get to the outstanding features uh, in particular that I want to share with you. And the first one I want to share with you is remove background because it's already built in. There's a few excellent background removers. Remove BG is one of my favorites, but uh, since I've discovered PicMaker, I don't need to go to remove BG because PicMaker will remove the background and do a great job. One of the biggest problems that I found with background removal is that they, the automatic removers do not do a good job, and therefore when you want to remove the background, it ends up manual removal and that can get time consuming. When you click on the image on the right hand side you may notice there's options for brightness, hue, contrast, uh, tint, saturation, so on. Above the image is where you're going to find the remove background and simply click on that and let's, let's see just how well it does. So we, Click on that, click on remove background, and, and we do want to remove the bench. Click OK, excellent. There's all but one little spot, and I'm almost glad that's there because I want to show you how to remove that anyways. And simply go over here, and the red will remove, and the green will add. If it's removed something you want to put back, click on the green, and you can add it back. In this case, we want to remove that spot. We click on that, and then we can size the brush to wider or narrower depending on, on what we need and once we're satisfied click done and as you can see the background is gone next thing we want to do is go to stickerify so click on the image and the pop-up we want to click on stickerify and what that's going to do is it's automatically going to outline the image and this is another feature that is usually usually got to go somewhere else to get that done and this does an excellent, excellent job, and it does it automatically. 
and if you want a little if you want a tighter outline you can click on inner stroke if you want more of an outline you can actually stickerify it more than once now let's go to the background feature since we remove the background the background feature will allow us to put in a background and as as you see we have solid options we have gradient options and you can just pick and choose the several different ones until you find the one that you feel is right and on the properties I do want to share with you about properties on the properties section you're going to be able to add stickers icons charts images characters and more and sometimes you'll add an icon or whatever and it's not what you want you simply delete it and to add more text, I'm not going to do that, but to add more text, I want to show you how the feature works anyways, is simply click on the text and you'll see you have regular text that, type text that you can add, but you also have uh, kind of like pre-made text, which is a little bit artistic, and this is, this is excellent, especially if you're creating a thumbnail from scratch. So next, next, let's go to illustrations and properties. And you can add lines which I, I added a line and make them change the length and so on. I added a line above and below. If you're finding value in this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you would do that right now, hit that like button. I'd appreciate it. Thank you so much. And what I'm going to do is add a fir tree. And I'm adding the fir tree mainly because I want to show you one, one little feature that you may not be aware of, especially if you're new to thumb, thumbnail creators. And that's it. You can bring stuff to the front or the back. So if the tree, if I want the tree behind the text, I can bring the text to the front or I can put the tree to the back. Uh, and of course I can also size the image. And in order to bring it to the front or move it to the back, I simply click on the image, left click on the image or the text, and then right click on, uh, on the drop down and either move to last or bring to first. And then click on either move to last to put it back of or bring to first in order to put it in front. When you're happy with your image, title it and then click the preview button. And another nice feature that uh, the PicMaker has is the preview feature and you're going to have a little preview of what it's going to look like. And it's going to help you to overcome, and in my opinion, one of the most common mistakes for newbies. And that's simply that the text is too small. If you're happy with, it, with your thumbnail, you can save it, you don't have to, but you can save it and of course you can download it. And once it's downloaded naturally you'll upload it to YouTube as your thumbnail. Pick for the best free thumbnail creator is PicMaker, P-I-C-M-A-K-E-R dot com. And I invite you to click a link below to my next video which is about the best low price or best cheap thumbnail creator. And uh, the reason why I actually purchase this is because it's going to do something that other thumbnail creators do not do. There will be a link below to that video as soon as it's published. And of course, if you subscribe, if you haven't subscribed yet, for goodness sakes, go ahead and subscribe. Smash the subscribe button, ring the bell, and that way you're not going to miss out on these videos. My friends, I thank you. I thank you for watching. I appreciate it. appreciate you. And allow me to wish you much success.